EastEnders Max Bowden, exiting as Ben Mitchell, secures stage role in Birdsong's 30th anniversary production. Portraying Jack Firebrace, Bowden expresses excitement for this poignant World War I tales tour across the UK. Meanwhile, his character's soap exit unfolds amid police troubles. Laurie Brett, former EastEnders star, receives overwhelming support post-surgery. Star of EastEnders Max Bowden, who left the role of Ben Mitchell, announced a new project. He gets cast in a play. Prior to leaving the soap opera on TV, EastEnders star Max Bowden has already secured a new role. Max is now working on a sad farewell plot for his character Ben Mitchell, but he's going on to a theatrical part in the Birdsong play, which is celebrating its 30th year. Later this year, a play about star-crossed lovers set against the backdrop of World War I called Max, based on Sebastian Falk's critically acclaimed novel, will tour several UK venues. In 2016, he had starred in an earlier theatrical production. As Jack Firebrace, Max will play the co-lead in the film Birdsong. The actor expressed his excitement about working with Once more, original theater on a project that's very dear to me. Through enduring connections in the face of adversity, Birdsong simultaneously portrays the tragedy of war and the beauty of humanity, and I can't wait to bring Jack Firebrace to life under their direction. The novel Birdsong chronicles the tale of Englishman Stephen Raceford and his beloved Isabella Zare during the 1910s European War, which shatters their love affair. Stephen is forced to leave Isabel when war breaks out in order to command soldiers in the Battle of the Somme, never forgetting that he is fighting for both his love life and the future of the free world. While tickets for the show will be available at several locations in the coming days, ATG is already allowing you to reserve seats at the Richmond Theatre for Tuesday, October 1st through Saturday, October 5th. The price of tickets is £15, plus a £3.95 pence transaction fee. Director Alastair Watley and writer Rachel Wagstaff are adapting this production. Watley stated, More than ten years after joining us to portray the role of Tipper, a young soldier, in the Birdsong tour, Max is back to play the amazing role of Jack Firebrace. I am forward to revisit the rehearsal space with Max and go further into one of Sebastian's most remarkable personas. For future Birdsong dates in Leeds, Cambridge, Liverpool, Norwich, and other cities, see this link. In the meantime, Ben, played by Max, in Walford, faces an uncertain future after he was apprehended by police when evidence of a prior crime he committed in America turned out. The last time viewers saw Ben, he was pleading with his father Phil Mitchell to help him get out of jail since he was going to serve a long prison term in the US. Ben Mitchell of EastEnders is predicted for a depressing exit plot. Is this the way Max Bowden exits? Ben Mitchell, a favorite in EastEnders, is expected to have a depressing farewell plot. It has been revealed that actor Max Bowden is departing the BBC One soap opera, and according to The Sun, the last scenes starring Phil Mitchell's Troubled Son will air around Easter. Ben will apparently be taken away in handcuffs by the police after those scenes, as they claim that something he did during his trip to America last year has come back to haunt him. Ben will not be prepared for the authorities, thus he will not be able to flee and end up being sent to America. Six performers have portrayed the role over the years, beginning in 1996. Since assuming the role in 2019, Bowden's storylines have included him dating Callum Highway, coping with Lola Pierce Brown's cancer diagnosis, and overcoming the trauma of being shot by Hunter Owner and assaulted by Lewis Butler, to mention a few. Given his portrayal in these narratives, we at Digital Spy speculated that his departure would be advantageous when it was announced. The issue is that the writers have never really gone into this intricate pathos. We never talk about how Ben was impacted by the trauma he experienced, we said. A narrative that centered on Ben turning into a model of toxic masculinity to make up for the homophobia he encountered at home and on the streets was never presented to viewers. Instead, because Ben is Phil Mitchell's son, people were expected to accept that he had merely doubled down on being a nasty guy. Shona McGarty of EastEnders discloses her closeness with her new co-star. Defoe a friend for life Star of EastEnders Shona McGarty has disclosed her friendship with Kirsty J. Curtis, her new co-star. The newcomer made her debut in the soap opera's special episodes earlier this week, in which Whitney Dean, played by McGarty's character, visited Milton Keynes to see her stepmother Bianca Jackson. The episodes delved into Whitney's worries for Brittany, a youngster residing on Bianca's land, which resulted in a contentious exchange with the teen's mother Keeley. 
McGarty shared a series of behind-the-scenes photos of the two on Instagram shortly after the scenes aired, showing that despite their on-screen falling out, they have remained close. It was such a pleasure dealing with this very accomplished woman. Kirsty made me up my game, the actress exclaimed, following their first scene shot. She is quite strong. Such a rough rendition. I'm so happy we were able to collaborate. Laughed so much. Forever friend for sure, Christy J., Curtis. I hope we can collaborate once again soon. Curtis also expressed her appreciation for her co-star in the comments, writing, OMG, girl. Stop it, you superstar. I'll start crying and love every minute of it. The most beautiful person ever. Forever, my monster munch friend. Not a better on-screen competitor could have been imagined. I genuinely love you. My favorite is Shinty McGinty. After Whitney and Keeley got into a heated argument that resulted in Whitney getting hit by a car and being taken to the hospital, McGarty discussed how the plot impacts Whitney's character. Whitney feels so bad for Brittany because Keeley hasn't been taking care of her at all. She makes an effort to support her and wants to mentor her. Whitney remarked, Brittany makes her feel like herself at that age. Obviously Zach, Hudson, Whitney's partner, was fostered so he has an understanding, but he's just so concerned about this baby that he goes back to the square without Whitney and Whitney makes Brittany her main priority instead of Zach which is quite sad, she stated. After McGarty decided to depart the serial opera in July of last year, Whitney's exit tale included the Milton Keynes episodes. After confirming surgery, Eastender Lori Brett received an overwhelming amount of support. We have to ring fence and protect our NHS. After disclosing details of her recent surgery, Lori Brett, a former Eastender, received a ton of support. The actor, who portrayed Jane Beale in the BBC serial opera, confirmed the treatment to followers on social media with an emotional tweet. She gave her fans an update on her medical situation and thanked the NHS for the treatment she received by sharing a picture of herself in a hospital bed on X and Instagram. Gary Nichols, Lori's spouse, added that he was giving Lori access to all the nice messages she had received while she was sleeping. The actor who portrayed Christian Clark, John Partridge, wrote, Hey. Are things going well for you? I love you so much, X. And Heather Peace said, Love and hugs to Lori. I hope you get well soon, Triple X. Along with author Darren Little, other EastEnders stars Emma Barton, Cliff Parisi, Ricky Norwood, Aaron Sidwell, and more sent their best wishes. After a resentful Max Branning threatened Jane's life, she quit the serial opera in 2017. Jane's cover-up of her adoptive son Bobby Beale's murder of his sister Lucy, for which Max served a year in jail before being released, was the catalyst for the conflict. When Max attempted to set the cafe on fire, Jane was able to flee, and Stephen Beale, whom Max had hired to ignite the fire, fell through the floor. Jane departed the square to protect her family from any further pain when Max threatened to kill Bobby if she did not leave. BBC One airs EastEnders Monday through Thursday at 7.30 p.m. ahead of its TV airing, most episodes of the show are available for streaming on BBC iPlayer, where they are released early. Please subscribe our channel.